Kelly and I am back with this month's Stash Bash with Rachel and Kelly. And this month we are going to pick a paper that we've been hoarding to use. So I went through my stash of papers and looked through some things that I knew I had hung on to and you know really hadn't used much, used yet and things that I loved. And this was one of the big ones. So this is Amy Tangerine Late Afternoon, and it's the um, specialty paper. It's the copper foil on vellum. So I'm going to use that paper as my background. I just put a little bit of white cardstock underneath it. And then I have this photo of my daughter-in-law and her mom. And I, again, went through some things that I had been, I don't know, in this case, it's not necessarily hoarding, although... I guess this one could qualify as that because I have quite a few pieces of it and I haven't used any of it. So this piece is um, Crate Paper uh, Magnol or Marigold. Sorry, I believe this is Mag Maggie Holmes maybe? But Crate Paper uh, Marigold, this is the Dream Big Paper. And then as the paper to match, this is um, Fresh Bouquet. And this is the fern paper. So I'm going to use this as the mat. We're going to put it on this copper foil vellum. And then somehow this is going to come in. I'm not sure how that is. I, how that's going to do that. I also have this um, Paige Evans sticker book. I have some thickers that were part of... Um, this is Crate Paper Bloom. And a couple of other things that I'm thinking about using. So we'll see how this all works. I am going to put you on fast forward and we'll get started. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to use this pink, kind of a chevron paper, or pinky peachy um, paper as the mat, and that is the Crate Paper Fresh Bouquet collection, and it's the fern paper. So then I told you I wanted to use the striped paper and I decided one of the best ways to put this on display would be just to cut a strip of it. Now it does, it definitely does cover up quite a bit of that um, vellum, which I really like, but it, you know, it, it is what it is. I've been, that vellum has been in my stash for too long and I love it so much. I'm glad to finally have it on a layout. So again, the vellum is the, from the Amy Tangerine Late Afternoon Collection, and it's the copper foil vellum from that collection, so the specialty paper. Now I'm leaving the um, peachy colored paper, or the corally colored paper there, um, a little bit longer because I want to decide how wide I want that to be. I'm not quite sure right now. Um, like, do I want it... Um, you know, do I want it shorter, longer? And part of that's going to depend on what I'm doing for embellishment, actually. So I'll, um, I'm looking through right now that sticker book, the Paige Evans um, hashtag sticker book, to kind of decide what pieces I want on here. And so I picked this cluster of flowers and it's perfect because it goes really nicely with the colors in that striped paper. And then I like that, you know, it has that kind of reddish orangey flower to go with the copper foiling here. So I think that's pretty cool. And I'm going to ink the edges of my striped paper and then this paper to just help them stand out a little bit more against the vellum there and that's my memento do drop in gray flannel which if you know my work you know that is one of my absolute favorite um favorite inks to use so i'm just going to glue all of this down now so that it's the vellum uh, stays down a little bit better trying to decide what to do for my title and where it's going to go originally i wanted to call it happiness but um, I wasn't sure if that was going to fit well. So, and again, going through that hashtag sticker book, I like that cluster that I have in the left, but I don't like the little thing sticking out of it. It makes it feel odd to me. So I'm just going to go through. That was too big. That floral cluster was too big. 
that yellow flower was kind of the wrong colors there. I think after I was all done, I thought I had seen one other flower cluster. After I was all done, I found the saw the flower cl cluster that I was looking for, but whatever. <laughs> I've got three flower clusters on the layout and that's the most important thing. So what I decided to do is make this sticker work for me and I cut those little um, berry pieces off of this and made it, the sticker work for me, not the other way around. So auditioning the word moments there, but I'm not loving it. That leaves a lot of space in that area. Now I could journal right onto that peachy colored paper there, but I'm not sure that that's what I want to do. Kind of playing with this. I love this beautiful saying in that book, but it, it's, it doesn't work as well on this layout with what I was intending. So I decide to go back to using the word happiness, but use it above here. And I really like that because it goes really well with the pinks and the peachy colors in there. So you guys, just so I don't forget, I will leave the link to, uh, to Rachel's layout and video in the description box. So make sure you go there to take a look at her take on a hoarded paper. And really, I should say, you know, this isn't that old. I think this was either last fall or the fall before, maybe. I don't remember. I didn't, I don't think I wrote it down what um, year this was, but I had intended to use it right away. I hadn't, and it's such a, and I didn't. It's such a special piece of paper. I can't believe this was still sitting in my stash. Kind of makes me a little bit crazy to think about that. Um, Kind of looking, um, it was 2020. So this is really just from, last year's fall collection, which makes it about a year old. So that's not that old by any means, but considering how much I love this paper and I didn't use it, I was hoarding it. So time to get it on a layout. That is also true with the pieces of the Marigold collection I'd wanted to use that. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through my journaling cards in pinks to find something because there's so much, um, space in that matte paper, the paper that I'm adding the photo on. So I'm going to use this journaling card from Ellie's studio. It's got a little heart on it. This is my daughter-in-law and her mom, um, and they went to lunch together at a local restaurant that they both really like. And I inked that as well, especially with this because the color of that matte paper is so close. All right. So then I found this um, copper foil sticker there and I thought it'd be kind of cool to put it up in that cluster there somewhere to get a little bit of copper foil at the top. There's so much behind everything else. So I really like how that looks. I was thinking about using this tab when I put it on top of the card though I didn't really like it. I did, by the way, add a that navy heart from the same um, phrase sticker sheet that the happiness came from. And I should tell you what that is. That happiness came from um, the American Crafts Maggie Holmes Bloom, Bloom, and it's the Grow Thickers. So it's the Bloom Collection, the Grow Thickers. Now, I had seen these uh, foiled hearts earlier in the hashtag sticker book and knew I wanted to use these on this layout for sure because I think they're beautiful on here. And because it is about my daughter-in-law and her mom, I thought that was perfect. I like getting her mom in um, the layout. She doesn't, I don't see a lot of, like she doesn't share pictures of her with the kids with me. So when I'm there, I try to take pictures of her with the kids or just her. Um, and then also any opportunities, like when my, when my daughter-in-law posted this, I copied it. Um, right away from Facebook so that we could get it in there. And they know, I, I think I've talked about this before, they know that I lift from Facebook all the time. Um, as a matter of fact, it's way easier for them than sending me the photos. So they highly encourage it. Okay, um, I'm not sure if I told you this. I think I told you this in the beginning, but let me go back through this because the striped paper is the Crate Paper Marigold Dream Big Paper. And then the, cor uh, the coral paper I told you about is the fern paper. And then I told you what the vellum is. So I guess I just hadn't told you what the striped paper was from the, Mary the Marigold collection, the Dream Big. 
All right, so I'm almost done. I went through my enamel dots because I want a different texture there. So these are old. They're from Le uh, Recollections, the Valentine Collection, and Recollections um, is Michael's brand. So I've had them forever and need to get them used up. I'm really trying to do that. I think they're less traditional sizes than typical enamel dots, so I think I have a harder time using them. And that's why I think they're still sitting here. But I'm making an effort. I have all those beautiful Alta New Enamel Dots, so I need to go through these. Okay, guys, so I am done with the layout. Here's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well. And again, don't forget to go to Rachel's layout, which will be in the descri description box. And I also have a playlist on my channel for Stash Bash if you want to go back and catch up on other ones you've missed. So bye, everybody.